Yeah. Jump in, jump in, jump in, then boys up to something. They just feel like two or three weeks out the country. Then Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Amir Soriano. This is Channel 69 News, and today we will be having Woodrow Wilson with us in the show. Welcome, Woodrow Wilson. I heard you have some questions for me today. Yes, I do indeed. That's the question? <laughs> no, you have to say yes, I do. You have to say how many. Oh. Hey, Mary. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. How much term did you serve as president? I have served two terms as president. And how did that go? Uh, it was a tough two terms. I was president during World War I. I received the Nobel Peace Prize for my peacemaking efforts, and I signed the 19th Amendment so women had the right to vote. Good, that's very good. What is your view on women suffrage? I thought that it was bad, so that's why I signed the 19th Amendment. Congratulations on that accomplishment. How did you improve America when you served your two terms? I helped save lives and resources during World War I because I kept America neutral for most of the war. And I prohibited child labor and made sure that railroad workers work no more than eight hours a day. That's incredible, you guys, as you guys see here. And another thing, what is your meaning of your quote? Well, what did you mean by the quote that you said, the man who is swimming against the stream knows the strength of it? Well, for me this quote means that when you, you only know the true power of something when you're like, you're going up against it. So you're going against the current, you're gonna have to fight harder so you can beat it, you know? Interesting, very good words. And what have been some of, more of your most recognizable achievements as president? Well, one of my most recognizable achievements as president is that I signed the 19th Amendment so that women could vote and give them more rights. Also, as I said earlier, I signed, I mean, I won the Nobel Peace Prize for my peacemaking efforts. And I made a, I vetoed a law that required a literacy test for vote for immigrants. Well, you are such a great man, Mr. Wilson. Everybody, ladies and gentlemen, give this man a round of applause. 